everybody. It's Diana from Move North Homestead. We're back in the kitchen. Tis the season, canning season. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a scrumptious spaghetti sauce with homegrown ingredients. We have all of our tomatoes that I'm going to split the skins, peeling them off. Then we're gonna combine them all along with garlic, homegrown basil, homegrown Jimmy Nardello Italian peppers, and some salt. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to core the tomatoes. How you do that is put your thumb just at the tip, that way if you have, let's say you have little kids running around the house. They don't um, bump your hand and the knife doesn't go through your hand, through the tomato and into your hand. And you're just going to put it at an angle and you're gonna go around and you're gonna core it. Then you're gonna take your tomato and you're gonna score your bottom. Then for this, and I'm gonna show you with one tomato and then I'm gonna get all of this done. Then you're gonna drop it into the boiling water. Don't drop it, don't splash it up on yourself. I love this little gadget. And you're just gonna put it into the boiling water for about 30 seconds. You're not cooking it. All you're doing is getting the tomato the peel to peel away. Okay. See how it's starting to peel away? Now we're gonna plunge it into some ice water. This stops the cooking. Now you don't leave it in there for very long. You just leave it in there long enough for it to chill the tomato. Then all you're gonna do, is you're gonna take your tomato out. Let's see if I can get you adjusted here. Okay. And the peels peel right off. This is in real time, guys. If you have a little bit of problem getting one of the peels off, take your knife with your thumb and just very gently pull back. Easy peasy. Boom, peeled tomato. Ready for cooking down into spaghetti sauce. Okay, we have all of the tomatoes peeled. They're in the stock pot and they are boiling and I'm going to use my immersion blender and we're gonna blend them all up. Now the key to your immersion blender is when you have it on, do not lift it out of the pot until it's off. That's a good way to burn yourself. Now we're gonna let this sit and come to a boil. Then we're gonna start adding other ingredients and let everything simmer together until it's the consistency that we want. Okay, we have the sauce all blended up, all the tomatoes. Now we're gonna add about a cup of Jimmy Nardello Italian peppers. about a cup of fresh basil, and this is the purple leaf basil, and lettuce leaf basil. And then about two tablespoons of garlic. 
So I'm gonna get these bowls cleared out so all that yummy goodness goes in there and we'll be right back. While your spaghetti sauce is simmering down, one piece of preparation for the jar that you can do is to go ahead and put in a tablespoon of lemon juice into your sterilized jars. Because the acidity of tomatoes varies, and because I want to water bath can my sauce, in order to ensure that the acidity level is correct, one tablespoon of real lemon juice in each jar before filling it with sauce. Okay, the sauce is done. My whole house smells like an Italian pasta factory. Um, we're going to get it into jars, get it into the water bath canner, and we are going to water bath or have it boiling in the, in the jars for 35 minutes, at which point we're going to turn off the heat and take off the lid and wait five minutes before we remove the jars. Okay. Now remember, we already have one tablespoon of lemon juice to even out the acidity so that we can water bath can these. We're gonna leave a half an inch of headspace. That's where a little measure comes in. A little bit more. Perfect. Now we have our lid, have our ring, and because the spaghetti sauce is hot, we can go directly into the water bath canner. And see, beginning canner, rookie mistake. I just realized that I forgot to clean my rim of my jar. So I'm going to pull this jar back out. And I'm going to take care of that right now. Again, as I said, the hard part is in remembering all the steps. You can be as prepared as you can. And what I'll probably do is, for this season at least, I'm going to 
make a cheat sheet for myself. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clean the jar or the lid off with vinegar for anything that might have gotten on there. this one back in. All right, let's continue. I want to make sure I'm at a half an inch, which I am. lid. My ring. Use the jar lifter. And see, a pint is just perfect for Butch and I because it's just the two of us. That ding dong that you keep hearing is my husband um, driving around down at the bottom, probably mowing the grass. I don't know what he's doing. Um, down by the driveway doorbell. That lets me know that somebody's coming up the driveway before they actually get to our house. Move that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm sorry about that. Perfect, just touching. One other thing, um, you notice I said, um, because the spaghetti sauce is hot, it can go straight into the water bath canner. You never want to put any cold pack into the water bath canner if it is already boiling. Uh, instead, you want to put them in, not cold, but, you know, room temperature water into your water bath canner to heat up with the water. You don't start your timer until the water is boiling. Then you start your timer. And I'm not going to start my timer, even though it's boiling. I'm not gonna start my timer till I get all my jars in. So again, we have our lemon juice. Okay. So I was afraid once it boiled down, you know what, let's use, before I waste a sterilized jar, let's use the one where I was, where I was resting the funnel. Well, it was close, guys. Almost five pints. If I'd have had another tomato, it probably would have been perfect. If it doesn't seal, 
because this is obviously not a half an inch of headspace. So if this doesn't seal, then guess what we're having for dinner tonight? So since my water is already boiling, we're just going to put the lid on. I'm going to wait until steam comes out of the pot and then I'm going to start my timer for 35 minutes. See you back here then. Okay, so steam is coming out from underneath the lid I'm going to have my timer set for 35 minutes. Okay, we have processed for 35 minutes and I took the lid off and now it's time to get them, the five minutes has expired and it's time to get them out of the can. And confessions of a first time um, tomato anything canner I realized just after I hit the button telling you it was processing for 35 minutes that I forgot to put lemon juice in that last jar so for those of you that noticed yay um, so I got it out, took it apart, or took the lid off, uh, added the lemon juice, the one tablespoon of lemon juice, cleaned the rim off, cleaned the lid off, and put it back in the canner and reset my timer for 35 minutes. Sometimes, that's why I said the hardest part is remembering all the steps. And this is that jar. And I went and verified, and it is perfectly acceptable to have a one inch headspace. So this jar has a one inch headspace, probably closer to three quarters once I added the tablespoon of lemon juice. So they are out. Now to wait for them to pop. And we are all done. Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen making spaghetti sauce. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. As always, I'll leave you with a little piece of chocolate.